hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's well. Oh, we're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry. You are terrible on key, on cue, on... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's all right. So I was just telling T, I took yesterday off and you would think I would come back like gangbusters and just be all full of energy. I can't wait to go take a nap. It's crazy. I should be refreshed and happy. Yes. I know. It's like, instead, I'm like feeling, ah. It's like when you go on vacation, you need a vacation when you get back. I mean, I was only gone for like 24 hours. It's not right. like I went, you know, for a week and I'm exhausted, like sightseeing and stuff. We, right. we chilled out. You know what, Rachel? I wonder if it is the rain. I think that you're right. You know what? It's it's raining outside. Uh. It's it's drizzling, you know, it's overcast and it's just spitting. It's not like yeah, raining, yeah, yeah. raining. I think that probably has a lot to do with it. And everybody's just like so chilled in my house right now. So, yeah. Well, I'm sure the girls are, are exhausted because they probably got no sleep last night. I, I think they were in bed at a reasonable hour. I don't think they, they were up early this morning and at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, so right. they had so much fun. Good, good. All right, let's say hi to everybody. Rachel is here. Hello, good Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. Hi, Dolly Doo Doo. Hi, Dolly. Hi, honey. I hope you're well. Hey, Rhonda. What's going hi, on? Hi, Rhonda. Um, Junebug. Hello, hello. Hey, Junebug. Oh, what a wonderful way to spend Sunday afternoon amongst such good people. Thank you're so you, sweet, Jim. You always such nice things to say. Hey, Courtney. Hi, Courtney Bolo Buddies. Courtney, let us know. Donna and I were trying to figure out if your um, contest is over yet. Like, when does it end? Oh. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember when it ends. Because yeah. if it's still going on, share it with everybody. Yeah, because I was shouting it out, but I wasn't sure if it was actually still going on. <laughs> hey, Summers. Good to see you. Hi, Donna. Never too old. Welcome in. Thanks Hello. for coming. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hey, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hey, Barbara. Good to see you. Oh, here, Devin. Let me read Devin's chat while you're saying hello. Hi, Devin. She says, hi, T and Donna. I can't stay, but T, if you still have bulk eye cream deal for me, I'm interested. Shoot me a text. Got to go. Have a great auction. Thank you, Devin. Okay, okay Devin. So write, write that down. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yep. Suppose. So you don't forget. Hi, James. Hi, James Cisco. Hey, Nance P. Hi, Nance. Nance, I sent out your um, your um, Star Wars thing yesterday. I don't know if you saw the invoice. I sent you an invoice. Oh, Denise said you didn't notice her new picture. All right, we'll get to it. All right, I'll come back to it, Denise, I promise. Let's just skip to mm -hmm. snow. We're going to put our Christmas tree up um, early this year. Like, I want to put it up, like, right now. I bought I'm a set. putting one up this year. You're not? Well, I'm only putting one up because, you know, my Palm Beach lady that I buy stuff from, I bought a um, artificial Christmas tree from her. It's a $1,700 uh, Christmas tree, and I paid $100 for it. So I told the kids we're going to put it up. It's, it's like brand new. The people just didn't want it. So I'm really excited about it. How you doing, Janine? Who spent $1,700 on a Christmas tree? I don't Isn't know. Crazy. Hi, Janine. Hey, Gail. Hi, Gail. That's an awesome picture, Gail. Hey, Hi, Sandy. Sandy, did you change your picture? She yeah. did. It's adorable. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's adorable, Sandy. Oh, hey, thank you, Mammy. I, look, I feel so tired today. Hi, Dora. Hey, Jenny. Oh, thanks, Robin. My lighting looks amazing. I moved my ring lighting. I put it way, way up. 
so that when I hold things on the screen, the circle doesn't show on it. Hi, Jen. Oh, Jen, I have such good news. Jen, you're not going to believe what I found. I thought I had sent it to someone by accident, but I was going through, I have a pile of like certain things like when people don't pay right away. And I don't know why it got in that pile, Jen, because I know you paid right away, but I pack them up and I wait for payment on some things. Jen, I found your Sleeping Beauty ring. Oh, so, awesome. She was so excited about it because it's like a 10 and a half or something. Right, right, ring. right. And she's like me. She needs, you know, big size rings. So, Jen, I found it and oh, I got I got your um your payment for the jewelry jar that you want to buy. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Jen. And um, I'll get back to you on the ring. Awesome. Hey, Leon. I, I couldn't imagine like sending it to someone and one of our friends not saying that they got it by right, accident. Right. I just couldn't imagine, but I found it in the pile. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And Andrea, hello, Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Ribbit, good after Sunday noon. Hello, Ribbit. Hi, Hi Cindy Roach. Hi, Cindy Roach. Hey, Mabel. Mabel, bunny, maple stuff. Devin. Goodbye, Devin. <laughs> Have a great day, Devin, if you're still in the chat, honey. Hey, Joy Munkin. Right, Tammy? Thank God. I know because I had Tammy looking. I had um, Invisible Bitter looking. I'm like, who did I send it to? You know, I was trying to think of like my jewelry people. Hey, Donna. Hey, Donna. Yay, I'm so excited. She's going to be so happy. No, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I was so excited. I was probably. I opened up the box and I was like, yes. And my husband's like, what is it? I'm like, oh, forget it. You wouldn't mm -hmm. understand. Hello, Greg Stewart. Jen says, thank you everyone for looking. Yeah, thanks everyone. I appreciate it. It's thank such you. a relief too, to know that, you know, number one, I didn't make the mistake. And number two, that someone didn't keep it. So, hey, hey Jill. Hi, Rise Up. Lightning dark. Lightning looks dark. What does that mean? I don't know if he's saying your lightning looks dark. I don't know. Lighting looks dark. Oh, my lighting looks dark? Mine doesn't. Robin just said it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I think it looks good. Mine's probably too bright because of this window. Yeah, I moved it. I moved the, It's. I put it way, way up in the corner. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. That hey, was a Shelley. super special ring. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, Pat. She, Rhonda says, Donna. Pat's just causing trouble. Of course he is. Hey, Tony. Hi, honey. Hi, I St. Anthony. Oh, for the Tony, oh. thank you. That's why I found it. I bet it. you that's why you found it. Hey, Donna. I need to go out and shovel the snow, but it's 16 degrees, and I'd rather watch your auction. Oh, I don't want to do it, Donna. Donna, stay. Don't go outside and shovel. You want to go maybe, out there. Maybe the sun will come out tomorrow and melt, melt it. I look at my friends on Facebook out there shoveling the show, shoveling the show, <laughs> shoveling the snow at my age, and I'm like, ugh. Do you get a lot of snow on Long Island? Did I go to school on Long Island? No. Do you get a lot of snow? Oh, well, every year it's different. Last year we didn't get a lot. Last year we didn't get a lot. Hey, Amber. Six inches of snow. Grr. I don't blame you. All right, honey. No worries. Maybe I can ask Ron Rhonda. I don't know if you're going to stick around if you want to help out. <coughs> Six inches already? I know. It's only October. I know. 25th. That's crazy. I'll never move back up north ever, 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 ever. I don't know. We had this debate this morning of people who like to be in the cold and people who don't like to be in the cold. Hey, Dolores. Hi, honey. Hey, Dolores. <laughs> Dolores, you have to work on a profile picture. I'm a stickler about that. <laughs> the cold takes Patty, my breath away. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> the cold takes my breath away. When I would walk outside in the, in the wintertime in the cold, it would like take my breath away. It would like suffocate me. 
Hi T, right. I did receive my coat. Right. I did receive my coat and purse. I love the purse. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Donna. Oh, yay. Rose, you got that quick. You got that pretty quick. That's awesome. Rose is in Canada, you guys. So yeah, awesome. I'm so glad. I decree no snow here till December 24th. Right? I decree. I double decree that with you. <laughs> Gosh, honestly. Honestly, honestly. Thank you, Rhonda. Thanks, honey. All right, she'll help. Thank you, honey. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Oh, Lord, I do not miss shoveling. I don't miss, I won't miss it either. Trust me. <laughs> no kidding, right? I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it in the cold states. That's our South Dakota snow. No way. Hey, Demucheville. How are you, Daniela? Hey, Demucheville. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Where's that comment from Jill? about working in the garage. I wanted to read it in, in, in a soft voice, even though it should be read in an angry voice. <laughs> yeah. So I'm working out in the garage today. Is how I, work, I worked this. out in the garage yesterday, actually. <laughs> but all day. The way, it, the way it should be said is, I'm working in the garage today. <laughs> I worked in the garage yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how you want me to read that like that. Hey, Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Behind you, no more babies. <laughs> hey, Lego man. Hey, Lego man. Denise says, Donatella, your package still says in transport. Grr. <laughs> Yeah, yours and Don, Don L still says uh, no scan on it. And who was it that, um, it, who was it that sent me a message that said they finally checked the scanning after 11 days and the package says that it's in his state, I think. There was no scan in West Palm Beach um, and it's in, it, now it shows in, it's in his state. Um, finally, after 11 days, no skin for 11 days. Wow. And I have the same problem with Don L. He's, he's the, he, he's another one. seems like every time I send him a package for some reason, I don't know if it, this, it's, he's in Massachusetts. Um, I don't know if. Two, Janine, two. Oh, hey, paint in the roses red. Hi, Hi Becky. Kelly Hi. Picker, hello. Thanks for being here. Hey, Callie Picka. I live where it snows, but the kids have so much fun when it snows down by the Rio Grande. Jill says, okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> no, Jill. <laughs> oh, Robin says she finally got hers. Excellent flush lot. Thank you, Robin. Thanks, honey. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't know. I don't know about the post office. Um, T, I want to go over the list really quick of winners from Friday night's show. Sure, sure. Right, just to remind everybody, the people that I'm going to read off, one $10 gift certificates to the auction. So if you see something you like, uh, you can use your certificate. And I'm going to read down the list of who won the certificates. Um, so you can use them today or tonight. You can use them. So keep that in mind when you're bidding. We have Elizabeth and Bobby Pizzelli. Is it Pizzelli? Pizzelli. I say Pizzelli. I say Pizzelli. I think it's Pizzelli. Um, and then Elizabeth again. And then we have Casual Flipper, Michelle Petty's, Froggy, Junebug, Katap, Carrie has one. And we all know Kelly has many. Where is Kelly? I don't see her. <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't see Kelly. <laughs> I haven't seen Kelly. Maybe she's listening in the background. 
um, fancy pinks. Oh, and that reminds me, if you are listening in the background, thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate you been, being here. T appreciates you being here. And we get it. Everybody needs to get those items listed for fourth yes. quarter. So, but we just appreciate you being here. If you are here and you're just listening, just throw one in the chat so we can say hi. And and you, you don't, don't have, have to, to say, say hi, hi back. Yeah, you don't have to it. say hi back to everybody. Don't worry about it. Um, Rose needs a wrench. I don't know why she lost her wrench. Hmm. Virginia and Cindy Roach. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Just know we just wanted to say hello. Bluegrass Picker is listening and lurking. Thank you, Moni Love. Thanks, Misty's Adventures. Carlton, Shell UK. Thanks, honey. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Okay, Fancy Pinks has one. Nance P used hers. So this one was used. Thank you, Paul. Um, you, did Nancy P use hers? No, she didn't. No, 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 she didn't. Nobody used theirs yet because we didn't, we told no, them. No, 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 but I, I applied one to a backdoor sale that I had one. Oh, okay. Um, that I got. I allowed them to use it. Nance P again. So Nance P has two. Um, Carrie, oh, did I read that? Okay, yeah. Hi, Carrie, Elizabeth. Hey, Stacy. Sergeant Spork, D. Hewitt, Kelly again, D. Hewitt again, Samford, Carla, Casual Flipper, Donna Summers, Pat D's, Invisible Bitter. Uh, right here. Okay. Invisible Bitter. Kelly, another one. Tammy, Treasure Hustlers, Jill, Devin, Rhonda, Rise Up, Yellow Brick Road, Invisible Bitter again, and Junebug. So you guys have them. Don't forget. And please, when you send an email, don't forget to remind us. Did Donna sell something out of the back door of her SUV? <laughs> actually, it wasn't in the SUV. It was actually they, in the they're questioning the They're questioning the back door thing. Uh, Callie, I gave you back your wrench. You might be on a different device or you might not be subscri subscribed. So that sometimes is the reason. Hey, Jack. I asked to use it, but it wasn't applied to who, Tammy? Me? You asked to use it? It has to be you because I didn't invoice Tammy for anything. Oh, sorry. I, I missed it, Tammy. I'll, I'll apply it. I'll apply it to the next. Sorry. Okay. So with all that being said, um... What you got for us? Uh, yes, Janine. Um, I didn't open one of them. I didn't open one of them. But I know, well, yesterday we talked about the bottles. Yesterday we talked about the bottles. I got those. Oh, sorry, I think, Tammy. I think I the bags came, but I didn't open them. I missed it. Yeah, I just I showed my daughters the bags. They're excited. We gotta make time to do that this week. I wanna get I wanna get going on that. Bluegrass Picker says, hi, Robin. Love your channel and the originality of it. Yeah, it's Hope awesome. you guys had a good auction last night. I didn't make it in. <laughs> Let's see the pedicure, Donna. I am not showing my feet online. <laughs> no. Show the bags, please. I did. I showed the bags. I didn't even open that. I didn't open it yet. Let me open it. Anyone interested in purchasing a t-shirt, just click on the link, the order form. Good way to help support the channel, you guys. Junebug is advertising the shirts, which are auctions for you right behind there. Is it cold there, T? Is it cold here? It's not terrible, but I wore. we just went to the supermarket, and I did have to leave the house with a jacket on. Did you? Same ones Donna got. Same ones, Janine. No, you got blue. Oh, okay. Mine what color purple. did you get? Oh, okay. Well, they are like a kind of a purpley blue. Are they? Well, mine are they're, purple purple. They're not blue blue. Like if you look at my top versus yeah. the Bendix. Yeah. Painting the Roses says, T, I got my package this weekend. I love it. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. You're so welcome, Becky. Oh, Tammy, I'll remind you, honey. That's that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll make yeah, sure. Yeah, because the only other thing I got, this was, 
Yeah, this was, uh, I'll open this too. This was from Oh, my Denise says it's colder in her apartment than it is outside. I remember those days that it used to be colder in the house than it was outside. Uh, I got up this morning. My heat was on downstairs. It just came on? All right. Automatically? Well, I'll stay private. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Did you say that's private? Yeah. Okay. Is it embarrassing to share with everybody? No, I just care not to. That's all. It just came from a friend of mine. You guys want to take guesses in the chat what it is? <laughs> and if we guess the right thing, she has to show it to us. <laughs> Who wants to take a stab at it, what it is? <laughs> Go ahead, you guys. Write whatever you want. <laughs> Robin, Dolores, Dawson. Dolores is registered, right? Leave it to Robin. Porn. Is Dolores registered? I don't know. I think she is. I'm gonna have to bug. Don't stop. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, you guys, play. What do you think it is? <laughs> I'm not showing it. Doesn't matter. Show it to us. No. Why? Because it's personal. Come on, it's a box of condoms. No, that's definitely not a box of condoms. No, it's just reading material, that's all. Oh, what kind of reading material? Political, okay. Oh, that's why you don't want to show it. Donna, show your feet. Pat D's. I could, actually. I'm afraid, though, after that cramp I had in my leg trying to hold my foot up. Right? Oh my God, what if I go into another cramp episode? I haven't had one since then. My husband was like, I, I said, everybody on the screen was say, saying to eat mustard and a banana. And I did. And it, I don't know if it was just coincidental, but it went away and it didn't come back. And he goes, how did that taste? And I said, it was really actually delicious. Mustard and banana. Who would ever think I did. I, I put the mustard right on the banana and then I ate the banana. It was, you guys, you got to try Might as well it. put the pickle juice on it too or dip it, it in so pickle juice. It was good. It was great poupon, but it was so good. It was delicious. I imagine it would be really good with like honey Dijon. Nancy, Nancy. Hi, honey. Hi, Nancy. Hi, honey. No, Virginia, I'm telling you. I, I know it sounds gross and I was desperate because I was having a I was having like, you know, Chris, really bad. Chris is getting sick and so no, Chris, Chris. Don't try it. It was good. Trust me, it was good. It tasted. It's like the sweetness of the banana with like the tartness of the mustard made a nice mix. It was good. The tea says the hand warmers. Were the hand warmers were delivered yesterday from Amazon. I'll have to look downstairs and see if my husband put a box someplace or open something. Jenny's like, nope, not going to happen. All right, don't try it. I don't care. I'm just telling you, it, it tastes good. I'm not, I wouldn't All right, Froggy, you, Froggy and James Sisko were making fun of mustard. <laughs> mustard? Yeah. Mustard. Michael Whalen says, magnesium every night for me for those cramps. My neighbors hear me scream like a little girl because of the pain in if I don't take them. Right, Michael? And that's who I was talking about, you guys, that didn't get a scan on his um, on his package for 11 days. <clears throat> he fi they finally cool. showed up. Mustard. Janine, just try it. Look at Renee, too, with the throw up face. <laughs> Medical talk. Mustard has acetic acid, which the muscle needs, coming from our residential nurse. Thank you. So I, I took, I told T, I took my husband to a very special restaurant yesterday, a restaurant that I never, ever, ever go to because it's not in my, in my realm of going to eat there. And we had um, Orso Bugo. Orso Bugo. Orso Bugo. Well, I call it Orso Bugo. It's not. <laughs> Bone is Orso. Who's Italian in the chat? Bobby, are you here? Bobby's here, isn't she? It, orso is a is a is bone, and buco is the whole. Orso buco. Oh, Vintage Memories also says drinking almond milk helps with the magnesium. Do you know I've never ever tried almond milk? I haven't either. I've never taken a sip of it. 
never, ever, ever taken a sip of it. But um, you guys, does anybody in the chat know what Osobuco is? Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Oh, all right, Janine, I'm gonna go look. It's it's lamb shank is what it is. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it was yeah, so good. Yeah, she says it Osobuco. I don't, I don't know. That's what I thought of it. Yes, yeah. listen, we know about the pickle juice. My girlfriend just used to drink my pickle juice. She used to come over and pour herself a, a glass of pickle juice. I'm like, oh. I know, but you know what? Too much pickle juice is bad for you. You can it can it can mess up your um your kidneys. Oh, yeah, because of all the salt. Yeah. Oh. Vintage memory says, yeah, also buco real shank. Not a fan of lamb. Oh my gosh, it was too greasy. No, it was cooked so perfect. It was so good and fatty. Oh no, it was so good. It was so good. I grew up with my mom making also buco um at home it was really kind of like a poor man's dish but my mom grew up in the hills of sicily and that was a staple in their family that's what they ate all the time so my mom used to make it because it reminded her of her mom i actually don't know how to make it i need to teach myself because i know that my kids would absolutely love it it was so good it was awesome i'm still thinking about it i sent t a picture of it oh my god it was so good was so awesome. I said, show Robbie. What, why, why do we always have, <laughs> Renee, why is there random comments about Eero in the chat? <laughs> oh, because of the lamb. Ah. Uh, they make um, Euros, uh, Gitos. G, how do you pronounce it? Gitos. Gitos. I drink celery juice and it helps me with my inflammation. Oh, so you juice your celery and make celery juice? Yeah, my husband loves juicing. He does celery, beets, ginger, and then he'll pick something sweet like a pineapple or something sweet in it. And he wow, makes Janine, awesome you do. Juice. Janine says she drinks a glass of pickle juice a day. You don't find the salt is a problem? I didn't think drinking that much pickle juice was good for you. <clears throat> it's <laughs> is it hiccups or is it high cups? Ha ha, Deborah. <laughs> well, Deborah. it's so funny. All right, so what do you got today, girly? I don't know. I, got I brought a whole bunch of stuff, and whatever I, I end up showing, I'll show, and then tonight <laughs> we'll do the rest. I got stuff. You got st She's got stuff. Hey, Jerry. Hello. Hi, Jerry. Um, Jerry, I needed to reach out to you because oh, you bought Jesus. one of those bags and I noticed on one of the bags, I haven't invoiced you for it yet and I haven't shipped it out because one of the bags on the bottom, which I didn't notice when I was broadcasting in the garage, there's nothing wrong with the bag except for it has some discoloration on the bottom of it. So I was going to try to send you a picture or tell you about it or send you my phone number so I can send you a picture via your phone because that's easier for me instead of uploading it to the computer to see if you still want it. <clears throat> I think it was $20, but it is. It's discolored on the bottom, almost like they put it on top of like something that would have taken the color away from it. I don't know, not bleach, but some maybe some sort of cleaning. Um, so I'm not sure if you still want it. Lunch is here. We'll be listening. All right, Robin, enjoy your lunch. Did you order pickle juice? <laughs> Did you order pickle juice <laughs> with a banana and some? Oh, muscle? and Jack Smith, I have. Um, I got your email. I invoiced you. I I sent you the cost of the um pocketbook. I think was eleven eleven, and then your shipping. Um, I itemized it for you on your invoice, and I sent it to you, and then I sent you an email saying that I sent you the invoice. So I are we know. supposed to be um, combining shipping with something that I keep forgetting? To yeah. Someone? Yeah. To um, Nance P not to Nance P to Michelle, Michelle P. Um, okay. Michelle P. I have um, to get a bracelet from um, Rachel. And then do you have something for her? Ornaments. I have ornaments for her and ornaments from you. I have to send you a package this week anyway with the peppermint spray and everything in it. So I'll just put the ornaments in there. Okay. 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 And then I, I'll try to, um, Hey, yes, there's Kelly. Kelly, the garden, Kelly, I was just going down the list and reminding everybody of their, um, $10 gift. Um, 
Yeah, you don't have any Kelly. Coupons. So don't worry. $10 kip coupon. <laughs> you guys go sub so go subscribe to the garden. I love the name, Kelly. Um, so that you can see. Oh, yeah. Rachel said you guys were going to meet up with her stuff, too. She has a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah, Rachel. Maybe we'll try to do it this week, if not the weekend. Um, let's try to work on that. We'll try to work on it together. I wanted to I wanted to meet up and go to a flea market and do like, you know, like go out to lunch and maybe go to the flea market. But I think the flea market's only on like Thursday. I think it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which to me are my busiest days of the week. So maybe we can just go to a thrift store or something like that. So you want me to start or you want to start? Why don't you start? I'm going to go check on Janine's package because I'm concerned now. I want to see if I got it, if it's laying somewhere on my porch or something. And um, this way I can let her know. Okay, I'll start. All right, you guys. It was like um, Thanksgiving Day. You know, like you, you always feel like you don't have enough food and you, and you prepare too much food. So that's what I did. I prepared too much stuff. But I'll just, I'm going to show a few things this afternoon and then I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I want to take a nap and then I'll bring back the stuff tonight. Okay. The first thing I'm going to bring out is this team caliber monsters Inc. This is still, if you can believe it from my NASCAR unit that I bought 18 months ago, I still have pieces from it. This one it's, Brand new in the box, never been opened. I'm going to start this off at 20. If anybody knows a child that loves Monsters Inc., this would be a really fun um, gift. Um, and it is in excellent condition, as you can see. It's NASCAR. Um, some of them had the original price on it, but this one doesn't. Let's see where we're at. We've got June at 20. I'll show it to you again. I loved this movie. It's never been taken out of the package. It's brand new. Um, you guys remember to be on live chat and not top chat. Secret agent is in the house. Hello, secret agent. He received his shirt. Secret agent, I haven't mailed out my shirts. I still have orders. Donna, I have to write a check. I still owe you for some gold. Yeah, Jerry, let me know. Um, I just hope I can put that box back together how about if we just you let me know on i'm gonna i'm gonna see it that box i hope it's that was from the storage unit unboxing that i did um i want to make sure that i can put or i can just do it as a mystery box i know where the gold is i know where the gold is and then there was a doll in there and some other things i definitely can do the gold maybe i'll do the rest of it a mystery if you want to do it that way um, let me know and let me know on the bag too, Jerry. Okay. We've got Janine. Uh, we've got Janine at 22. Is there anybody else? Rhonda says the garden, please post your link. Can't seem to find your channel. Okay. June bug is at 24. Except for just a couple of little stains right there. It's in great condition. <clears throat> you guys got to go watch that video. Oh my God, when I found all this NASCAR stuff. This was like the beginning of it all. It was crazy. All right, we've got June 24. Let us know, Janine, if you're in or out. Donna, you should put your T-shirt and baseball cap on eBay for those who live outside the U.S. Oh, okay, Nance P. That's a good idea. I will. That's awesome. I will. I had a really good eBay weekend, you guys. I posted some, you know, I only post really, really expensive stuff on there. And I did. I had a really awesome weekend. 
I hope your eBay stores are doing well. Oh, thank you. Thought Sun wanted it. Okay, June, $24. We're going to call it once to June. Thank you, Janine. Monsters, Inc. We're going to go twice. No, the gold will be fine. My brother likes melting hunting. I was going to put it under a rock. Oh, okay, cool. We're going to go twice. The life of eBay up and down, right? Yeah. Well, I posted some things last week, so it kind of stimulated it a little bit, I think. Fair warning. And we are sold, sold, sold to Janine. All right, Janine, I got Not it. Janine, I'm sorry, Junebug. Sold, sold, sold to Junebug for $24. Thank you, Janine. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say thank you to um, Janine. All right, my next item, and I think this is the last of them. I don't know if I have any left. I might have one or two maybe left, but I think this is the last of them, and this one's pretty awesome. This one is a Kiss, and it's Sterling Marlin Kiss. Um, I'll open it up for you. Oops, I lost my chat. There it is. This one is Action, where the other one was Team Caliber. This one is called Action. It's 2001. And let's start the bidding on $25 on this. I think anything that's Kiss is highly sought after. Have it. Hi, Sandy. Don't know hey, Sandy. Hear. Yep, that opens in the back. And that opens. Is there any interest in? The Kiss Car, brand new in the box. Let us know. $25 to start. I'm going to put it back in. Comes with this little plexiglass stand. $25 to Paul Suckling. 2001. And see the original price on it was $69.99 is what they paid for it. That's the scale. You're welcome, secret agent. And there you have it. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. All right, you have Paul Suckling in at 25. Yep. <clears throat> Anybody else? If not, we'll call it to Paul. All right, let's go once to Paul. All right, once. And twice to buy. And with a fair warning, we are sold, 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 sold for $25 to fall. Thank you, Paul. Okay. My next is going to be a piece of jewelry. 
This is a Zales ring. <clears throat> it is 925 with white sapphire and blue sapphire. I'd like to start this at 50. And it measures at seven and a half. Ooh. <laughs> Is that a sneeze? No, it was a laugh. Um, Rhonda wrote, sold to Paul Duckling. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Sandy. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for joining. Welcome. White Sapphire and Blue Sapphire. And it's a Zales. Oh, gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? $50 to start. Carla. Leave it to Carla. The duck is cooked, right? A duckling would be a suckling. <laughs> Tammy's going to start us off at 50. Yes, very elegant, Jen Bennett. Yeah. It is very elegant. I love the blue sapphire. Do you think the lighting is good here? Like, it's not. Let me see if I make it. A little bit brighter. Yeah. Like that. Let's see wow. if that's better. I that adds a little bit more, right? Let me wipe the lens. Oh, yeah. Seven and a half, Sandy Kirk. <clears throat> Seven and a half, yes. Let me wipe my lens. Mm -hmm. What is all over the front of my shirt? So I try to rewash those. Right. And a hundred of you here, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate you guys coming in this afternoon. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Look how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. I know, right? Trust me, I debated keeping it. It's so beautiful. Seven and a half. Anybody else? Should we sell it? Why do I have to have eight and a half fingers? The same reason I do, Sandy. <laughs> Me too, Sandy. I have nine. All right. We're going to go once to Tammy. I know uh, sterling can be um, stretched. I don't know if it can be stretched a whole half size, but they can also cut it and, um, and you know, put a piece in it. I just don't know how much they would charge for that. But this is probably, a, you know, I don't want to put a price tag on it, but you know Zales. It's, <laughs> look at how pretty that is. Carla, Sandy, so you can wear more rings and make more typos. I only have eight fingers and two thumbs. An extra half would be handy. Sold, sold, sold to Tammy. Congratulations, $50. Tammy. Nice deal. Nice deal. Congratulations. Tammy, awesome. All right, so I'm going to write $50 less. Carla has 12 fingers. $10 coupon. Maybe you should lend some out. To Tammy. Sapphire. Yeah, this is a beautiful quality ring. You're going to love it, Tammy. It's gorgeous. Let me just find my little baggie to put it in. Here it is. Tammy, lot number three. Do you want me to keep going or are you going to come on? No, I'll come on. Okay. Um, first, I wanted to just tell Janine, I, I got them, Janine. I got them, honey. All right. All good. Thank you. All right. Um, I don't know. Somebody this morning, I think it might have been Michael, but I don't remember, wanted to know <laughs> about the about the stickers. So I guess they are bumper stickers. Um, All Star Game 2008. I didn't count them. I don't know how many are here. I mean, there's a lot of them here. Um, but let's let's start the bidding at 20. Let's start the bidding at 20. Thank you. 
And then I still have such a mess here. It's like not even funny. I think we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to do a desk sweep. We're definitely going to have to do a desk sweep for sure. We had a Siamese tabby. Seven toes on each front paw and five on each vet. Vet called them catcher's mitts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how many are here. God only knows. God only knows. There's quite a few. Quite a few, quite a few. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a desk evacuation for sure, Jenny. <laughs> or desk intervention? No, desk evacuation. Yeah, we're, we're going to clean the desk up. All right, if there's no interest, we'll pass on them. We'll pass on them. Hemingway cats. Hey, do you it? All right, we'll pass on them. We'll pass on them if no one's interested. All right, how about this? We have, and I know everybody's going to say, keep it for yourself. Uh, this I, this didn't come from my buy with, with the cosmetics. This actually looks like um, it was something my aunt had that she never used. And it's one of these... Um, Finishing Flawless Brows for Perfect Eyebrows, 18 karat gold. I just have a thing with plucking or doing anything. I'll just go and get it done. Polydactyl. So I have no idea what this is even worth or anything. If you guys just want to bid in the chat. I have no idea if it's anything even anybody would be interested. Oh, that's okay, Janine. It's fine. It's fine, honey. Did you call me? No. Oh, I went to go get a snack. Oh, okay. All right, June wants to go 20 on this. Okay, June. Thank you, honey. Um, yeah, again, I don't know. I don't know about what. Sandy, really? How was it? Was it good? Was it good, Sandy? Well, Smells fantastic and very what, light. Oh. What did what did she buy? I want some. Okay. I, I as soon as I as soon as I sell this, are we gonna sell this to June? Um June's at twenty. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, let's go once to June. <clears throat> Going twice now. And with a fair warning, and Carla says the fig infuser is, the lavender was awful. It, it's way too strong. Okay, so guess what? You guys should probably, like, send each other the other one since you got one of each. One liked the lavender, one didn't. One liked the fig, and the other one didn't. You should probably switch it out. All right, Junebug, that's yours, honey. All right, um, so these are... One is fig. It's, um, I, I have a combination of a bunch of these and, uh, this particular diffuser is, um, 6.6 .6 fluid ounces. And this one is the, um, a Pilly's fig tree. And then it comes with reeds. And then this one here. Now, I think how I did it last time, I did one of each, one in two different sizes. But I also have the bigger size in the lavender um, one as well, the 6.76. Did you know uh, Secret Agent's Wrench? He told me to. Oh. 
He told me to take it away, so I did. Why? I don't know. I don't know. He's been emailing me all weekend asking me to remove his wrench, and I couldn't find him because he keeps changing his name. He wasn't in my back room. I couldn't find it, so I couldn't do it till he came in here. So what I was originally doing was I was doing um, one of these with the um, the 6.76 for 25 with the reed, and then I was doing the smaller size um for 18 with the reeds and this the smaller size is 3.38 i do not have the fig in the smaller size though i think i only have the lavender um you guys i think got a special deal because i think i um i think I, I i switched it up for you guys and gave you a special deal that day yeah, you um, did. You did a big one, a small one, and two packages of reeds for like really like low, low price. Right, thirty. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. But whatever it was, we'll do one of each. You said only the large fig before. Yeah, I found I found large lavenders. I might have found some other. Rose stuff. said it was for twenty five. Okay. My daughter Rhonda said her phone. Her daughter's blowing up her phone. Go All right, honey. Once Rhonda, we'll be fine. It's okay. I, I forgot Janine can help too. I thought Janine Janine doesn't mind helping. I'm sure you go straighten it out, honey. It will be okay. We'll work it out. Hey, Westside Gary. Hi, honey. Gary. Wait, put me on the screen for a minute. That's what Gary does. Gary. Gary. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's um our twenty five. Okay, so that's a great deal. Trust me when I tell you that's a great deal. So if anybody's interested in the one larger one and the one small one with the reeds, I can do it for twenty five. Um, the other thing, just a reminder, I want to remind everybody, the list sport for fifteen. No, Robin. The Paris Hilton, Just Me for Men for 22. Now, where did you get the idea that I would get up and do that? Crazy girl. <laughs> she doesn't get up and dance. Um, vintage Memories, if you want to do both lavender, I can, because I have the smaller and the larger one in both lavender. Oh, um, I know why she's saying that, because Gary stood up and was, like, modeling a shirt and dancing with it. That's why she's saying it. I couldn't figure out. I couldn't remember why she would say that. Carl was like Donna Wood, <laughs> right, Robin? I I just remembered. Sorry, Sandy. Do you want another set? And tell me, do you want the two lavenders or you want the lavender and the fig? Just let me know. Yes, Sandy. Do you want? Do you want the the lavender and the fig, or you want just the two lavenders? Just let me know. And Vintage Memories wants both lavender. Okay. Yeah, I could do one of each or I can do both both lavenders either way. So just let me know, Sandy. Um, Deborah, Deborah wants big. Okay. Okay, so Sandy wants to know what is the price for we'll do it. I'll do the two for 25. <laughs> I'll do the two. But just so you know, I was doing 18 for the 3.38 and 25 for the 6.76. So it's a great deal. It's a great deal. Oh, that's so sweet, Rhonda. She wanted to know if she could buy my son a video a video game. Oh, at least she called to ask permission. Oh, that was good. Okay, secret agent, honey. All right, awesome. Um, that Hi, was Sylvia. Thanks for joining. Hi, Carol Ann. Thanks for being here. You guys are great. A hundred of you here this afternoon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. Don't forget, we'll be back tonight on my channel. And then the two-ounce um, each bottle... 
of the bath oil. One's, one's a bath oil, one's a body oil. And I'm, I'm actually doing four of these for 15. So that also is a great price for the two ounce bottles. Um, and if you only want the bath or only want the body, I could do four of these or four of these, um, depending. So I can mix and match it or however you want to match it up. The uh, bluish purple one is, is a bath. And the pinkish um, one is a body, essential body oil. So I, I can mix it up any way you um, you you want to do it. Are these supposed to have a scent? I don't. Do they have a scent? I don't even know to be honest with you. Mm, very slight. It's not. It's not strong if it's supposed to. Yeah, I don't think they're really supposed to have a scent. I don't think they're really supposed to have a scent. It doesn't really say a scent. It just says essential body oil and essential bath oil on them. It's just they're cool colors. I think it was just, you know, the way that they had them. Yeah, very light. And then the other thing I have is the three peppermint foot sprays. And we were selling these for, Donna, help me out. What were we selling the three peppermint foot sprays for? I don't even remember. Wait, I can't remember what I did yesterday. I think $26. 26 for the three foot sprays. All right, Sandy Kirk wants two lavender. Okay, Sandy. All right, and then we were doing the um, the Simply Me Spa Peppermint Foot Spray for 26. Carla wants two figs for 25. Yes, Carla. All right, so that's an. I'll have them. I'll leave them back here. I, you know, I always have them um, for you guys. Hey, then, Karen Anders Henderson. Just a reminder, too, on the Craftsman tools, they're all the same. Four for fifty-five or two for thirty on these. Eight-piece SAE sets. If anybody's interested in those, makes a nice gift for the men or the women. Hey, Sergeant Spork. Hey, Sergeant Spork. Hey, Karen. How you doing? I'll get another salt today. Uh, two fig for cola. All right, I think I got everybody. T, the perfume bottle is gorgeous too. Oh, yes, the perfume bottle. If anybody's interested in the perfume bottle, um, that we were selling for 20. It's really pretty. It's like almost like even the top is almost like an Aurora Borealis. It has that real nice glitter. Opalescence. Opalescence, yes. Opalescence. But it's um, Irving Rice, same maker of the mirrors and stuff. That's so pretty. It is really pretty. And some people, you know, just to look nice on your desk, on your dresser. Janine says she only needs one of those two. What the bottles? No, I don't it, know. Which one, Janine, honey? Let me know, Janine, which one? So twenty dollars if anybody's interested in those. Oh, Deborah Barnes asked for, for the body oil. Okay. Deborah Barnes. So you don't want the bath? You just want all body? You only want one, Janine? I hate to charge you 20 for one. Can't you think of somebody else you can give a gift to?
All right. Anyone else? Okay, Carla. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Don't wait too long. Yeah, it's Sunday. Remind them Sunday. Costco closes early. Yeah, it's four o'clock, Ricky. All body. Okay, Deborah, you got it. Honey. He All likes body. going at closing because that's when all the you know there's nobody in the store, so he goes in and buzzes through and gets to the checkout. Got it. Oh, and then, and then also a reminder on the the atomizers with the three um, Elizabeth Demarkoff uh, essence. Thank you, with, Secret Agent. So this is a um, atomizer, and then the three. Um, Essence and it, this uh, this is I'm doing this for 15. It's a great price <laughs> Gary says don't forget the grapes. He would never he buys two and three at a time He came, right. home, he came home one time and they didn't have grapes and he's like I didn't know what to do So I bought you this 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 and this. I hope it's gonna be okay <laughs> <laughs> he was like, sorry. <laughs> and you're out of bread. Oh my God, Kelly, you are so funny. And don't forget the ginger. <laughs> she said, no, we still have plenty of ginger. She must have heard my daughter say, we out of bread. We, we got bread at the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I used to do that. I'm not a big fan of it anymore because my teeth are so sensitive to cold now. Oh yeah, but I used to do that. Put them in the freezer. <laughs> Kelly's like, I promise, I'm not a stalker. <laughs> Kelly. I don't even know how she knew all those answers. She's obviously very smart. She retains things really well. That's my problem. You she know has that. Young brain. You what? tell me something, and then you'll be like, two weeks later, you're like, Donna, I told you that. And I'm like, I don't remember, T. And she'll be like, I told you. Yep. 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 Elizabeth and the better than bullion. We have plenty of that in the house. Kelly says, remember, I have a psych degree. No kidding, right, Kelly? Oh, yeah. She's so smart. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't know. I'm thinking about really doing a clear this desk dibble box for sure. I mean, it's just stupid at this point. I won't include the Q-tips that are just hanging do out. It. Just do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. All right. Of course, not my phone and not my notes. Rhonda, they don't freeze a hundred percent. They still stay kind of like a little bit soft inside when you freeze them, but they still they're just too cold for me. All right, here we go. Let's just empty it. Let's just empty it. Now, I do have hanging out here because at some point I was going to put like a little toy lot together. So we're just going to get them. I know I have toys on my desk, right? Why is Batman hanging out on my desk? I have no idea. Why is this mm -hmm. caution sign hanging out on my desk or this keychain? I don't know. What's going in there? Um, I did just show these earrings. It is two pairs of earrings. I'm going to just throw in there. I don't even have a clue what this is. It looks like it clips on or does something. I don't know. But who knows? Skateboard. All right. I'm going to go fix myself a drink. I'm All right. I don't know. This is some toy park to something. Maybe you can park toys out. This is like a mini bike. I have no idea. I was going to put it with a toy lot. I don't know. Does somebody want it as a model? Or does it just go? Here's a, here's a ladybug toy. We'll start this at 25. Here's an army man. Here's a skateboard. This is vegetable oil soap, it says. I don't know. I'm going to throw it in there. I have a bunch of these Irving Rice in a bag mirrors. One, two, three. 
and four. Oh, those in there. This says jog a buddy. I don't know. It's got it looks like survival stuff in there. It looks like a whistle, a knife. Not sure. Oh, here. Contents. Adhesive bandages, smelling salt, antiseptic, whistle, compartment for pills, compartment for dimes. Compartment for bills, identification card, medical fix. I don't know. Jog a buddy. Who knows? It's going on there. Um, I don't know. Can you? No, I'm not going to mail those. I don't know if I can mail those. Um, there is a micro, a micro card on here. Well, I don't know what's on it, but you guys can find out. I have one, two, and three of these olive oil. I don't know. Give them a stocking stuffers. This is a Pokemon yo-yo, but it looks like it, do, it needs to have a string. That's what it looks like it needs to have. I have no idea what year it is. I know nothing about it, but it is a Pokemon yo-yo. Let me throw that in there. This is an unopened pack of... Blush brushes or something thereof. This tin's a little, uh, box is a little crushed, but there's nothing wrong with the tin. It's a two decks of playing cards, snowman collector tin, and it's got two decks of cards in here. Not open, but the box is a little crushed. Here is Shave Starter Set Citrus Bite Light, Light Beard Growth. And again, the box is not in the best condition, but it's got all of this stuff in here for shaving. Hey, Evil Lenny. I don't know. We have, I don't know why I have, it looks like a draft card. I don't know. Somebody, Green Bay. Is it a Green Bay? No, I don't know. CG, Gators, Florida Gators. No Sean Moreno. No idea. No idea. Here is Coors Light Silver Bullets, Colorado. Looks like a girl's. Shireen, somebody, general manager. Don't have a clue. They're going in there. Don't know why they're sitting here on my desk, but they are. Let's see. Is there anything in the box? There's nothing in the box. Anything in this box? Nothing in this box. No. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Eyelash adhesive. No idea, but if anybody uses false eyelashes, brand new, not even open. I showed this the other day. We're selling these just for $20 a piece. It's going in the box. It's going in the box. It's going in the box. Um... How about a baseball? Boston and the Mets in the box. No idea what that is, but it's going in the box. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Samsung flip phone in the box. This looks like, I don't know, this is old. Made in Taiwan, Marsco. It's like a little... You put your little tchotchkes in there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is five individual blush brushes that are just sitting here on my desk. They're going in there. This is a Ross Simmons little knapsack. There's nothing in it, but... It's, you know, it's cool. You can put some jewelry or something in there. Ross Simmons is jewelry. Oh, here's a Sony remote. Uh, those of you who resell, uh, they're in there. Let's grab these. This is a set of 36 stickers, auto coolants. I don't know. They're like raised up. 
Here's wood pole rings. No idea, but we'll throw them in there. I'm trying to fill the box up. How about... I have an MLB All-Star and a 2008 All-Star game. Throw those in there. Oh, and some kind of... Looks like it more of an infant. Six to 12 months. So adorable knit hat. So adorable knit hat. And we'll throw that in there. I have a mishmash in this bag. I'm not even going to open this bag. I don't, I'm not even going to open this bag. I'm throwing in this eye pencil, too. I'm not even going to open this bag. I see a Manhattan Ensemble. I see some kind of concert ticket in there. I see some staples. I see some rulers. I see, I don't know. I'm just throwing it in. I just, I'm just throwing it in. I'm not even going to look and see what's in here. Not even sure. Just, it's just going to go in there. I think we're getting pretty full in the box, but let's see what else. Let's see what else we have. What else? What else? Oh, how about this guy? How about this guy? Sits on your shelf. How about how about this? I meant to put this in a candle lock, but we'll throw it in here. Um, what else do we have? What else? What else? How about a set of salt and pepper shakers? Throw those in there. And Hmm. We'll throw that in there. I don't have the match to that one. I don't know. This is cute. This is cute. This is Seasons Treasures Egg Collection Avon. And All right. You've got Secret Agent in at 31. I don't know. We'll throw that in there too. I'll make sure I didn't go over the weight. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Carl is at 33. Thank you guys. Um, how about a little from Bermuda, the Swizzle Inn, 1997. Henchy International Limited. Okay. You guys want an apple? All right, I think that's it. 35 to Deborah Reed. Thank you, Deborah. Wow, my desk is clean. Look at that. Got to put my trivial pursuit cards away for the next time we do questions. <laughs> This goes for my numbers, and this is my scale. You said you found your scale, right? Yeah. I don't know why this back is not the right back. I lost the back to my scale. I don't know what happened. Would I find it if I cleaned my desk off? Obviously not. Obviously not. Oh, here's a bookmark. All right, we've got Deborah Reed at 35. We're looking for 37. All right. Kelly wants to know what's in the box. Really, Kelly? Kelly, you're kidding. Kelly, pay attention. Pay attention, Kelly. <laughs> what's in the box, Kelly? Yeah, this is what's in the box, Kel. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bunch of stuff. It's a bunch of stuff. It's a, it's a good resale a lot. I mean, you got you got a remote control in there. Yes, got, secret agent. We still have your information. You got, you know... I mean, like I said, that alone I was selling for twenty dollars. This I threw some some kind of sports cards in here. I threw three of these olive oil in here. You got an eyeliner. You got two of these guys. It's a dibble box, folks. It's a it's dibble, a dibble it's box. A dibble. You got this um, stand with the egg. Robin wants you to count them. I'm sorry. Robin wants you to count how many pieces. Yeah, Robin. Okay. Carla's at 37. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> All right. Gary says it's a great lot. It's a what? It's a great lot. Thank you, Gary. 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, and you know what? I'll throw these in from, from my resellers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just list one. All right. That's what you get. That empties my desk, too. How great is that? Now I can leave the box on the desk. <laughs> now I can leave the box on the desk. Only to mess it up again. <laughs> Only to mess it up again. <clears throat> Hello, Heidi Leslie. Hey, Heidi. Hi, honey. Welcome. All right. And and I have um I have one other thing sitting on my desk. I was I wasn't sure if I should throw it in the box, but I'll throw it in the box. Play girl. I'll throw it in the box. Speaking of Playgirl, I'm I'm picking up a whole bunch of old, old Playgirl magazines this week, like this one is from February 1978. Yeah, mine are like the 60s, I think. Owen sleeves. Shut up, Robin. <laughs> Gary, I said play girl, not play boy. <laughs> 39 to Gary. Thank you, Gary. Is it the Joe Namath one Carla wants to know? The uh, Playboy? Paul Newman, Jimmy Carter, ID Amen, Donnie Osman, and Willie Kluwiski. And then it says Willie who? <laughs> Wait, is Ronnie G in the chat? Is she? Ronnie. Hi, honey. Is she here? Ronnie. Hi, honey. Yay. We miss you, Ronnie. Oh, how are you, Ronnie? Welcome in. All right, Carla's at 41. Yeah, so again, it says, why we're not sending Valentines to Paul Newman, Jimmy Carter, I.D. Ammon, Donnie Osmond, and Willie Kuzalaski. I have no idea. Deborah Reed wants to know who the centerfold is. You're going to make me look at this? It might be stuck together, so be careful. <laughs> it's a play girl, not a play boy. I don't Still. know. Does play girl even have a centerfold? <laughs> Oh, it does. Scott Dutton, D-U-T-T-O-N. Nice hair, Scott. No, I'll, I'll show you his face. <laughs> it's definitely 78-ish, <laughs> for sure. Oh. All right. I didn't know that, Ronnie G. <laughs> I did not know that. All right, let's call it. Let's call it. We'll go once to call it 41. It did, right? I know who you, Mac, Mac Davis, I think. Yeah, Mac Davis, right? It does. I have the one with Burt Reynolds. Oh, you could, Gary. Joyce says, I have the one with Burt Reynolds. I think he was the first one to do the naked pick. I know, right? I am blushing a little bit. Go back. <laughs> Burt Reynolds has right. a ton of property. Thanks, Carla. Thanks, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. Evil Lenny. Gross. He wrote, how hairy is that issue? <laughs> Lenny. All right, Donna. I'm putting you back in. <laughs> That's gross. All right. Um, so these came out of the rich guys unit. I don't know anything about them, but I, I grabbed them. I have a huge, enormous box of soap. Um, but I brought one, two, three, four, five, six of them. This is what I have. Firenze. Sapone. It's Italian soap. 
self effect body soap. Um, they are new, and this is how many I have. I have one, two, three. I'm going to start these at 25. All right. $25 shipped on the soap, guys. I have four of this style. I was going to do an unboxing of these soaps because I have so much. So I have four of those. And then I have one of this one, which is a different scent. This one's Catone, which is uh, cotton. This is cotton scent. And then these are uh, Seta which means silk that's silk and then i have one of these which is a pure olive olive oil so that's six bars will do carla all right elizabeth's in deborah came in at 25 elizabeth now at 27 tammy guessing, now at 30. i'm guessing they're all natural all beautiful soaps very beautiful and they smell amazing I have the whole big bucket still in my truck because I was going to do an unboxing and the whole truck smells amazing. Huh. Elizabeth now at 32. Deborah, this you want to do 34, honey? But this is all I have of this particular one. I just grabbed the six bars I have of this one. The other ones are all different. Tammy now at 40. Evil Lenny, all natural like the 70s boy girl. <laughs> Evil Lenny. I like 50 it. now to Elizabeth. Fifty five to Tammy. I wish you could smell them. They're, they smell they smell amazing. Amazing. All right, Deborah Reed and Elizabeth say out. Tammy's at 55. We're going to go once to Tammy. Rich man soap. <laughs> this is how rich people buy their soap. <laughs> we'll get right. out of that. Yeah, they still haven't invented smell of vision, Carla, someday. Beautiful. And they smell so good. <clears throat> All right. Fair warning. Last and final call. And we're going to be sold to Tammy for $55. Awesome, Tammy. You're going to love them, honey. Oh, fancy Nancy get... says she's had really good success with soap on eBay. Mm, I was going to say, you're going to keep them for yourself or you're going to sell them? Okay. Thank you, Tammy. And congratulations. Okay. So um, I'm going to do a lot of records. Okay. So let's see. I don't know a lot of these titles. I told you these came. A lot of these were house music. And what um, Tom Cruise told me is that some of these records that are house music records, I guess it's like the same song over and over again on the whole record because that's how like they played at discotheques or nightclubs. Um, but this man was a DJ in New York City, and I'm going to show you the titles. I probably can't read a lot of them, but um, you let me know if you're interested. I'll start it at 25. So, Ray's T, you help me too. Vanguard. Yes. This one we know is Sinatra. This one is the Steve Miller Band, and it's The Joker. He said that they're all in excellent condition, that he kept them really, really well because he was a DJ. This one is Alicia Reeves Myers. Alicia Myers. This one is Just the Way You Like It, SOS Band. Um, he must have worked at a, a, like a soul type of nightclub because there's a lot of soul music here. And I've been told that soul music is trending right now. Debarge, The Commodores, Grover Washington Jr., um, Bounty Killer, um, 
Like this one here is called The Fever. And you can see that it must have been just released to two nightclubs because it doesn't even have a label on it. So maybe it was just given to night, nightclubs. This is Stephanie Mills. The OJs. And... Oh, hold on. I need to move this. This one is Disco Single, and it's Best of the Doobies. This one is She's Strange. And Santana. Oh, oh my God. This is terrible. Look at this picture. Little baby with cigarettes. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a Van Halen album, yeah. Van Halen. Um, Alicia, new edition. Tears for Fears. And hey, Wes. Linda Clifford. <clears throat> Let's see how many are here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. I do too, fancy Nancy. The Jacksons, twenty three. This one does not have a record in it. I'll just include it. Just remember, you guys, I'm including an empty cover because you can still sell the cover. It's a Bobby Brown cover. But don't email me and say one of the records was empty. Try to remember whoever buys it because that happens to me sometimes when I include at like an empty album or something like that. Um, I'll do anything for you, Don Roy, Don Roy Morgan. And how about Do Me Baby, Melissa Morgan? And this one is the Heart and Soul Orchestra, Love in the Sea Mirror. This must be like one of those house records that they talked about because it doesn't really have a lot of music listed on it. This one is the Tramps, Disco Inferno. I'm just going to keep going on this lot. Uh, the rhythm four, rhythm four. This one doesn't have a cover on it. It's Tata Vega. All right, you had Secret Agent at twenty-five, Junebug at twenty-six, thirty now from Paul Suckling. Um, this one is a few good men a cappella. Don't know. And let's see what else is here. Uh, Grover Washington Jr. Stephanie Mills. Oh my God, Donna, how many are you putting in here? I don't know. And the Soul Soul Orchestra. That's it. That's the whole stack. This is a tremendous lot. I know. <clears throat> it's that Paul many. Suckling now at 37. It's that many. It'll probably cost about $15 with media to ship out. So this is what you get. 39 now to Secret Agent. While you guys decide. 42 to Anthony Bluegrass Picker. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Secret Agent. And thank you. Um, who else is bidding? Paul now at 45. 47 from Secret Agent. This is the free one, Bobby Brown. Nothing in it. Fifty now from Paul. I five love dollar increments, one. guys. Don't forget five dollar increments. We I have all in at fifty.
I don't know. Is this mostly soul music? T? I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know the difference. Best of the Jubies. I know that one. Yeah, there's some disco. Secret Agent now at 55. Paul now at 60. Tears for Fears. Great group. What's Tears for Fears? Um, uh, um, like, what kind of music is that? Um, they, were, they were like pop bands. They were like a pop band. <laughs> You would, know, you, would, you would probably know some of their songs. Like, Everybody yeah. Wants to Rule the World, yeah. Head Over Ears, Woman yeah. in Chains. You would know their songs. Yeah. All right. We've got Paul out, Secret Agent. Shout, shout, let it out. Yep. Shout, shout, let, let it, it all out. Yeah, 80s John. Yeah, think 80s John used movies. Exactly. Yeah, nice big yeah. lot. Nice big lot of records, you guys. All good titles, I think. That's all right. We're going twice now. And with a fair warning. Head over heels. Secret Agent has it. We're going to be sold to Secret Agent for $66. How'd you get to 66? I don't know. He went from, but Paul came in at 60 and Secret Agent went to 66. So, what, 65 would be the next bid unless he, unless he goes to, uh, 65 isn't that the rules well yeah he won a dollar more paul suckling bid 60 and she, secret agent came in at 66 she he, went, secret, he went six six dollars instead of five. Oh, oh 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 i see i see all right 66 dollars to secret agent congratulations secret agent <clears throat> Oh, June bugs lagging. June, you're lagging, honey. Sold. Sorry, June. Secret agent. Sixty-six dollars. Lot number five. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna leave those right there, and I'm going to show a week. Anybody in the market for a Wii, I'll show you all the pieces that I have with it. And it has been tested, and it does work. Oh, and there's two bottles of perfume in with the Wii. What is this? Ooh, that smells nice. Did you say you're going to sell a Wii and perfume together? No, I mean, I just <laughs> there's, two, there's two bottles of perfume in here. Yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> That would be funny. I don't know these names. Mm, it smells nice. I do have some perfume, though, that I want to bring. I have it put aside. Okay. So, like I said, it has been tested. So, you get... I'm going to start this at... Um, I'm going to start it at 40. Oh, Secret Agent, that's not necessary. Thank you. What's that? You want to give me those records. Oh. Uh, she has records. Gosh, I have so many secrets. You know what? Okay. <clears throat> Here's the console. And I'll show you all the pieces that come with it. And it's going to be 40 to start on this. It has the guns that you use. All right, 40, 40 to start on the Wii. There's two of them. And it has two controllers. 
and it has th this is the base and here are the char the charger base for the controllers and here's the plug to go from the Wii into the TV so it's the whole system you're going to be able to just plug it in and it's going to work and here is, this is, I think this is the connects bar for some certain games. They pick up your motion and this is the connects bar. So that's everything. Oh, and I don't, I don't know what this is, but this is in here too. I don't know what piece, what holds that or what that does, but um, yeah. So just to recap, you get the control bar. You get the charger base for the two chargers. You get the plug. And the two guns. The holding base. And the console, which is in excellent condition. And that's the whole system. All right, and where are we at? Vintage memories at 40. Anybody else want to come in or should we close it, close it, close it, move on to the next thing? Vintage memories, vintage memories. I got a bunch of stuff for you. I have to invoice you for honey. I will get to it tomorrow. Get jewelry and a bunch of stuff. I didn't invoice you last week. Oh my, she's showing her we. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, let's go. Let's go once. 42 to Gary. Gary going for the Wii. Gary going for the Wii. 44 now from Vintage Memories. Hey, Nikki D, you want to do 46, honey? Excellent condition. All working. And I have some Wii games coming up next. And I think you can play um, DVDs on Wii. Am I right, you guys? You can hook it up to your TV and put your DVDs in it if you want to watch DVDs on your TV. You don't need a DVD player. I think, I think I'm right by saying that. Vintage Memories now at 48. You guys, write a yes in the chat if that's the truth, if I'm saying the right thing. But if I remember correctly, you can. 50 now from Nikki D. Donna, your skin looks beautiful today. My skin? Thank you. There's Mark. Hey, MT Picker. Hey, Mark. Welcome. You guys, Mark is trying to get his channel up and running so go subscribe to our friend mark he's been a supporter of our channel from the very beginning and he's been busy he went off and i know i i catch on my stream that he's been doing some um collaborations and 55 now from vintage memories is the light too bright is it too washed out maybe when i'm not showing the jewelry i should um Tone it down a little bit. Oh, God, Donna, not up, down. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gary is out. Nikki is out. We're going to call it to Vintage Memories at 55. All right, Vintage Memories. Good deal. Jeez, during the pandemic, that would have sold for 200 <laughs> right? When everybody was looking for them. But if hold on to it. If if things turn around, I've I've heard a couple of states talking about closing again. So you never know. Pennsylvania, one of them. Did you hear that, T? No. You did? No. 
Um, oh, Junebug. Yeah, well, we, we were asked to remove his wrench, but we know he's registered. All right, 55 to Vintage Memories. And ladies and gentlemen, we're now sold. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Okay, let's see if anybody is interested in these cards. I have a big, huge um, bin full of, I think they're all hockey. I'm going to start these at $20. $20. They're all hockey cards, I believe. I didn't go through them, but I looked at them really, really quick. I'm going to show you what's in here. I don't know if there's hockey fans. Um $20 to start on the hockey cards. There's a lot of them in here. Some look like this. Oh, there's football too. There's football cards. Not just hockey. I don't know if there's any baseball in here. I thought they were just hockey. Oh, there's the Bruins. Um... Yeah, that's the phone is up. What is it? Nothing. What are you saying? Would you pay a fortune for money to show his to for Gary to show his we? What are they talking about? <laughs> to be fresh. Being a smart ass. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, rushed who had stroken and sick everywhere. I really honestly, you guys, I didn't go through them. I mean there's, it looks to be hockey and football. I Mark don't wants that, want you to count them for us. I'm not counting them. <laughs> okay, go in the corner. Come back when you're done. I'll show you how many are in here. There, there, were, there were two different, um, let me see what these are. These look like they're brand spanking new. Oh yeah, these look like all hockey. I don't know if there's even, a, I don't even know if these, there's a call for these or what, but I got them and I'm bringing them. I'll show you how many I have. All right. They're all in the tub. That's how many there are. $20 to start. Who wants to buy a $20 scratch ticket? You explore them. You look at them. Any years on them. Kelly, where do I even look for the year? I'll try. Show the backs. Look at this one. That's the front. I know. I'm just showing you how it's cut. Ninety-five? No. Huh? No. It says third round 95. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Bring it all the way to the top. He was the third round draft pick in 1999, 95. Bring it, bring it to the bottom. What year stat is that? Oh, all right. Yeah, I guess it is a 96 card. No interest, you guys? Oh, Nikki's at 20. What's what's Pat D saying? Classic die cast cast something. Um, it's the way it's cut. The what's the way the car is cut. It's called classic die cut. Ninety six. So it looks like a lot of them are ninety six. Twenty two from the garden. Kelly in the twenty two. How pretty that one is! So pretty. I don't think I've ever heard of a football card being referred to as pretty. <laughs> Look at. Do you see the way it's cut? Yes. You don't think that's pretty? No, it's nice. Denver Broncos.
91. I don't know. Garden is at 22. Let's sell them. 24 to Nikki now. Let's get rid of them. Ninety-four. Here's a goalie. Hey, Pirate Mike. Hi, honey. Hey, Mike. Thanks for coming in. Look at that baby. <laughs> All right, let's close it. Let's close it. Let's be done. Right, it. That's what you got. We have Nikki D back at 24. It look, appears to be hockey and football. That's it. Hockey and football. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any baseball in there. You look. All right, we're going to go once to Nikki at 24. 26 Nikki. now to mark the MT picker. Thank you, Mark. I don't know. Do they want me to keep showing them? Oh, here's a Panthers, Florida Panthers. My, my husband went to, for their, to their first game like last year. He hadn't, we've been living here 15 years and he's never been. My husband was a Big Bruins fan, big hockey, hockey fan. I'd say baseball, no, football, baseball, well, I don't know. They probably equal, and then hockey. He doesn't really watch basketball. All right. Nikki is out. Let's count it down to, uh, to Mark, MT Picker. All right, Mark. Garden's out. Going once. Are rookie cards valuable like rookie cards are um, baseball? Yeah, again, I I don't know, you know, too much about hockey cards, but, um, you know, if you always have a rookie, sometimes it depends on, you know, if it's tops or if it's upper deck or what the actual rookie card is, the maker of the cards. Let's sell it. All right, fair warning, 26 to MT Picker. And we're going to be sold. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations, Mark. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for bidding. All right, Mark. MT Picker. What was the finale? 26. 26. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, flush lot next. I got a great plush lot. Those of you that are listing, time to come on the screen. <laughs> I think my listing people are my plush lot people. Hey, Betty Webb, nice to meet you. Betty Webb's here? Betty Webb, nice to meet her. <laughs> Betty Webb, hello, sweetheart. Okay, plush lot people, here we go. You get. This one, Disney. Um, I don't know if Disney Nate is here, but there are quite a few Disney in this one. It's uh -oh, Pat. Uh oh, Pat, you better wake up Disney. Nate. Oh no. Oh it has a boo-boo. It's still going in the lot, even yeah, though well, it's a gift. It's a gift. Still has a boo-boo. Here's another Disney. And um, it's the dog. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's the dog. And yeah, then, and who is the dog? And here's Pooh. Never mind. 
Here's Pooh. It looks like a vintage one that looks like one of the original tags. 25 to start. All right, you guys. Enough, Carla. Enough, Rhonda. <laughs> enough. Enough, enough, enough. She'll never get it right, guys. I'll never get it right. Don't I'm a I'm a lost, lost cause. Lost cause, trust I think, me. I think I'll get a Pluto and a Goofy and I'll put them behind me with their names hanging from them and that'll be my background from now on. <laughs> and it's not, I'm not even doing it as, a, as like a funny joke. I'm serious, you guys. And here's Squirt, Disney. <laughs> He's so cute. I love this movie so much. I never saw there's, it. There's Squirt. Cutie pie. And here is a folk manis. Here's a folk manis puppet. He's awesome. He's a koala bear. And he is a puppet. Really cute. With nice. The Elizabeth's going to start us off at 20. Okay. And... Let's see what else is in here. This one is a tie, and it's a bulldog. And then we have this Disney one. Um, he's, I don't know if he's from Snow White or the bird. I don't know, some bird from some movie. You guys will have to figure it out. And this one is April. It's a TY. It's an April bear. Cutie. The gemstone knows. No, oh, rise up. I didn't know that. One more. Said, Did you know that the koala bear sleeps 20 to 22 hours a day? I think I want to be a koala bear. No, I want to come back as a koala bear. I want to come back as a koala bear. I do. I think it would be great. Okay, so that's one, two. Squirt is three. Mini is four. Shelly says because they are high. <laughs> Pooh Bear is five. No, I don't think that's the reason, but okay, Shelly. <laughs> the dog is six. Don't forget, when you get this, you guys, it is damaged. I'm giving it to you as a freebie because it's damaged, but it's Nala or whatever it is. But you'd be Simba, surprised. Simba, Simba, Simba. <clears throat> Simba. Somebody will buy her, even though she's got a boo-boo. Somebody's can, looking for her, guys. Somebody's looking for her. You could either try, either try to fix her by stitching her up a little bit and just saying repair has been made, or you can list her and just photograph the tail and say... Uh, plush damaged. People, people will still buy it. Needs a doctor. 22 from Paint in the Roses Red. 24 from Elizabeth now. 26 back to Becky. 28 to Elizabeth. This one's Folk Manus. All right. Folk -manus. It's from the Eucalyptus Tea. They are high. Okay. Got it. Folk Tales. Folk Manus. This is a great company. They make great plush. All right, that's it. That's it with the plush. Painting the roses red in at 30 now. Nikki, you want to do 32? Elizabeth's going to do 32. Thank you, ladies. Fancy Nancy says, if anyone ever gets a lot of puppets, I'd be interested. My students are getting bored with the same three that I keep using. Okay, I will keep that in mind. I get puppets all the time, Fancy Nancy. Nikki D is in at 34, Elizabeth at 36, Paint in the Roses Red says out. Plush Thank lot you. to Elizabeth. Who else is bidding? Nikki, Nikki D is at, 30. at 38. Plush lot number. Uh-oh, Shelly says I'm the first one on the list for the puppets, right, Donna? Right, Shelly. <laughs> 40 now to Elizabeth. <laughs> yes, Jelly. <laughs> Sorry, Fancy. That. <laughs> 42 now to Nikki. 
Thank you, secret agent. Secret agent, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for that. That's a nice compliment. Whoever wins, can you please sell me the koala bear? There you go, guys. You got your first sale. Elizabeth now at 44. Sorry, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, come on, you're killing me, Smalls. 46 now to Nikki, 48 to Elizabeth. Shelly. Shelly's like, right, Donna? <laughs> MT Picker, thank you for the email. 50 now at Nikki. Out to Elizabeth. Shout out to Tammy, too. She's so good at I mean, out Elizabeth. from Elizabeth. If they ever wanted to blackmail me, How they could. Those, <laughs> baby. All right. I just want squirt. All right. So you got two, two sales. Nikki, you got two sales, honey. Nikki's going. We're going to go once to Nikki for 50. Nikki D. Nikki D, do you have a coupon? We're going to go twice now. Nikki D, does she have a coupon? I don't think so. I'll check the list. I have the list right here, too. No, she doesn't. Okay, because I was going to write it down if you did. Okay, so we're sold, sold, sold for how much? $50. $50 to Nikki D. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. All right. And that's going away. All right. How about if I do another really pretty ring? Okay, this one is really beautiful. It's all marcasite. It is a size. It is a size five and three quarters. Five and three quarters, folks. And I'll show you. It's marcasite sterling. It's sterling. It's really beautiful. How about we start this off at 25? All right, $25 ship to start on the ring. It looks like it opens, doesn't it? It does. It does, it does, it does. I don't know. You know how they used to have those, the snuffer rings? I can't get it to open. Am I doing something wrong? I can't get it to open. Uh, you're, uh, you're, you're asking the wrong person, quite honestly. None of the marcasite is missing. It's all intact. Suicide ring. That would be nice. Is that what they're called? I think so. Why? Because they used to put poison in them. Ah. Uh, I can't get it to open, so I don't hey, know. Hey, Susan Arrington. Hi, Susan Arrington. No interest. All right, let's pass on it. We'll pass. All right, how about if I do this? How about if I do this? Let's get crazy. Should we get crazy? Let's get crazy. You want to get crazy? Let's get crazy. All right. How about I offer one, two, three, four, five sterling rings in this beautiful velvet box to hold rings. And how about we start, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 plus the box. Let's start the bidding at 100. All right, hundred dollars ship to start, guys. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a reserve on it. It's not Five a crazy sterling rings. It's not a crazy reserve, but I'm gonna put a reserve on it. 
That one looks like it may have gold. Want me to read it? Want me to see what it says? Let's see what it says. They're all sterling for sure. 925. It probably has gold inlay. 925. Okay, this one. Donna, do you have any pinky rings? This one could be a pinky ring. This one is a size um, four and a half. Oh, yeah, that could be for sure. That's too small even for my pinky, but that is a beautiful ring. Here, I'll show you the rings. $100 to start. Doesn't sell. If it doesn't meet the reserve, then I'll do the rings all individually. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah, that is. Is it four and a half or four and three quarters? Oh, I guess it's, yeah. It's four and a half. In between almost. Four and a half. Okay, so there's that one. There's this one. Okay, secret agent. It's all beautiful jewelry. It's not Stinky cheap. pinky toe rings. It's not cheap stuff. There's this one. And then there's this one. How pretty that is. That's four. And then the rest, and then the last one you just saw is five. Five rings in this beautiful velvet case. And you get the case. And you get the case. The case is uh, um, velvet, gray velvet. No interest. Did you give all the sizes to all the rings? I did. Okay. So this, um, Sandy wrote, beautiful, what size is that? Is the second one missing a stone? And is the is the case glass or plexiglass? It feels like glass. Was this the second one? I believe Tammy because she has a good eye. Is this the second one? Yeah, this is marcasite. I think uh, it was right there. Look, where she, she's got a good eye. I can't even see it. Right there. Right there. See it? Oh my God, Tammy. Tammy, you have such a good eye. I couldn't even see that. You're amazing, Tammy. What size okay. was that they were asking? Okay, this one's a seven and a half. Seven and a half. It's definitely missing a stone. Very hard to see, but it is missing. That one's a seven and a half. This one is a five and a half. That one's a five and a half. And this one is a four and a half. Four and a half on that one. Dang is right, right, Sandy? She's got a good eye, that woman. She's smart. She's smart buyer, too. Five and a half on this one. Five and a half on that one. And last but not least, so they're all in the fives. This one is seven and a half. Tammy says eagle eye. <laughs> eagle eye is right. Yes. That's good, though. It's good that you're that way. Okay, there's no interest. I'm going to pass on it. All right, we're going to pass on it, guys. We'll bring it back. We'll pass on it for today. We'll pass on it. Okay, let's do this. Bucket of socks. Bucket of socks. I'll show you what socks I have. T, do you want to go up? Show the socks. Show the socks. Okay. All right. So let's see. These are miracle socks as seen on TV. Helps reduce swelling and enhance circulation. Soothes ankles, legs, and feet. Relieves symptoms of varicose veins. Easy to pull on. One pair, black. 
They were for sale for 99 cents. Okay, so that's one. I have no idea who this dude is. Some guy with red lipstick. That's two. This is a whole package of fashion dress socks, four pairs, gold, gold tone. Let's gold start this. Gold toe. Hey, gold toe. Iris. Hi, honey. Let's start this at 30, okay? All right, $30 shipped on the socks. Because there's a lot in here. Um, then I have these are what what team is that, T? That is the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, Philadelphia Eagles socks. And no, it's not the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm Seattle Seahawks. Sorry, Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. This is Hugh. These are new without the packaging. Ralph Lauren. These are called Gilbert. They're like nylon-y socks. These are men's socks. Men wear these kind of socks. All nylon. They're like transparent. I don't know what kind of man wears these kind of socks, but I know that they do. Actually, I think my father might have worn those socks. I'm not sure. These are called Jockey Stay Cool. Non-binding comfort comfort grip those were marked in the we don't know susan errington that's why she's showing them and there's multiple some of the packs have multiple pairs like these jockeys have three pairs in them here's hugh again with three pairs in them these are just called accent i think these are just department store ones like ordinary ones then there's three pairs of Dr. Morton compression motion. socks. Motion. Dr. Motion. Oh, Dr. Motion. Are they, they all do. men's? Men's? Men's, yeah. Are so all the 10, socks men's? 1013. I don't know, to be honest with you. Let's see what's in this box. But there's all of those. Um, there's these. These. These look like compression socks as well. They're not in the package. They have a name on them. They're brand new, just out of the package. One of my favorite stores, J. Jill. Love that store. <clears throat> um, here's another pair ideal for diabetics. And... Oh. Never mind on those slates. Sandy Kirk's going to start us off at 30. And then you get some, um, some handkerchiefs, world's best grandpa. And here's some permanent press handkerchiefs, brand new in the bag. And then here is another pair of Ralph Lauren socks. And this one just says a special gift for you. Brand new. Never used. And these are just United Airlines socks. They're just a, a freebie throw in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine. These are multi-packs, but I'm just counting them as... We're know, counting the packs. Some of them have more than one pair in them, nine, guys. 10, 11, 12, 13 on the handkerchiefs, 13, 14, 15 men's dress socks, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Call oh, <laughs> oh my God. I could never live without a pair of United Airlines socks. Carla. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they got in there. Sandy's got, at 42. I got these from my bulk buying place. So who knows how they got in there. And I have to show you the ones that I kept out for my daughter. 
Cesarina, ever since she was like four years old, we'd say to her, what kind of birthday party do you want to have? And she'd say, we want to have a bacon. I want to have a bacon birthday party. A bacon birthday party? Bacon birthday party. The kid wanted to eat bacon all the time. Like that's <laughs> all she wanted. Wow. Was to make her bacon all the time. Look what I found. Aw. <laughs> Susan Arrington comes in for 44. So the bacon socks are not included. The I'm going to put the bacon socks are, are not included. They're going in Cesarina's um, Christmas stocking. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know I had them. I just saw them. Because when I put lots together, you guys, I don't even look half the time. I just throw them together. So I didn't even know that those were in there. I would have never had. Um, One day I think I'm going to have Carla and Sandy on my show and, um, Mary and Dawn, and the four of them are going to just keep us laughing forever. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. They're so funny. All right, socks. Who's winning them? Who's going to get them? Who wants the socks? That would work. Yes, Dawn and Mary. Yes. <laughs> 46 from Sandy Kirk. Yeah, those those compression socks and the diabetic socks can be really expensive. Oh, for sure. For sure. For yeah. sure. And there's a lot of them in there. Right? There was like a couple of multi-packs and then the single, three single ones, and then one other. So there was probably like, I don't know, eight pairs in there, if not more. Sorry, secret agent. We're all here for you, honey. Sorry, secret agent. Yeah, compression socks are beyond exp expensive, right? And this this lot has a good good amount. Fifty now from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Snipe Thank you so much. Yep, she sniped it. These these are interesting too. These stay cool, non-binding comfort moisture control made in the USA. $19 for three pairs. And there's three of these, right? At least two that I saw. So, shoe size, sock size 10 to 13, shoe size 6 to 12. All right, let's close it. Let's close it. Tammy's at 50. Anybody else you guys want to come in? Let us know if you're in or out, Sandy. Because it's nap time. Everybody go take a nap so we can stay up late tonight. T, you too. Okay. I might. Go, I might. We'll go see. Go lay down for a little while. And that way when we come on at nine, we'll have some fun. Doesn't that sound good? Sounds good. All have right, Sandy's nice. out. We're going to call it to Tammy at 50. Have a nice dinner. Eat early so you're not eating at 12 o'clock when we get off. I know. I'm going to try to eat early too. Well, well, Kelly, go take a nap, honey. Have something to eat. Have a nice warm bowl of soup or something. And go take a nice little nap. Mark says he has to be in bed by 7. I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, 7 his time is? 10. Oh, Mark. 10. So you can come in for an hour, Mark. We'll, we'll There's no you. crying at the auction, Sandy Kirk. We'll sing you a lullaby song. We'll read you a lullaby book. All right, let's close it to Tammy. All right, we're sold to Tammy for 50. Good deal, Tammy. Thanks, Dolores. I got to check. Dolores, are you registered, honey? I don't remember. I'll, I'll check the thing. But if I owe you a wrench, let me know. Rachel's still listing. Good girl, Rachel. Good for you, Rachel. Awesome. I didn't list today. Sandy, is there a specific sock that you're looking for out of this group? Because I can see um, if I have more, I can um, let you know if it was like the diabetic socks or the jockey socks, or was it the male nylon transparent ones that you were looking at? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> 
I don't think she was looking for this. <laughs> Maybe she was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to you there. I am. I'm sorry. I was looking for Dolores's registration. Yes, I have it. Let me make sure I wrench Dolores before she leaves. I was teasing Donna. All right. <laughs> Farmer. Hey, Farmer. Farmer. I need men's thick black dress socks. Okay, June. I will look for you, honey. Nice hot osobuco soup. Oh, Rose, sounds so good. It was so delicious last night. Let me show you a picture of it. Sandy Kirk. <laughs> What's Sandy saying? She has to save her money for the neon bras to go with her neon panties tonight. <laughs> Check that out. Nine nine p.m. Eastern, Susanna. Nine p.m. Oh Eastern. God, it was so good. It was so good. And here and here's me drinking a martini, but I wasn't really I wasn't really drinking it. It was Ricky's martini, but I was showing tea. I was drinking it. He sent it to me, and I said, "Nighty night." <laughs> I know. I wasn't drinking it. You would have drank that, boy. That would have been the end of her night. Like you that like, was like you took one step. That was early. That was like 4.30 yesterday afternoon. I know. I know. I know. We went for an early dinner. And I, I said, I said, all right. I said, I'm going to take a sip. I said, but take a picture of me so I can send it to T. <laughs> She'll be like, you're drinking a martini? I wasn't. I was drinking water. <laughs> I was just drinking water. That martini was $18. I know. It's crazy to get drinks outside. $18 for a martini. Gin. So crazy. Tangeray gin martini. How do they get away with charging $18 for a martini? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Right, Carlo? That's why we never go out. I mean, we never even really went out for our anniversary. I mean, we just, you know, we, we went and got something to eat, but we didn't like really like, you know, it's our wedding right. anniversary. We didn't really. So this was kind of like our wedding anniversary kind of celebration, <clears throat> but we didn't go out. All right, farmer, try to come back tonight. Let's have some fun. Let's yeah, let's have some fun tonight, guys. Go, go take a nap. Go take a nap. And thank, thank you, you for your help, Ron. I appreciate it, honey. Thank you. I, I don't know if you're available later for Donna, but let us know. Or maybe yeah. Janine or yeah. Betty, whoever wants to come in and help. I know um, Mama G's away still. So, Yes, thank you so much, Rondo. Thank you, guys. All right, Kelly, go take a nap. Oh, Farmer, go take a nap. Go relax. We'll yes, party tonight, Kelly. I'm going to do the thumbnail now. I wanted to do it before we came live so you guys could have hit the reminder so you would be reminded. But I'm, I'm going to go do the thumbnail right now. All right. All right, Thank guys. You. Thanks again. We'll see you later. All right. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Appreciate it. I do. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know where I was going with the story. <laughs>